see you. Welcome to Santa Barbara. Thank you. <laughs> so set the scene for me. It's the morning of the Oscar nominations. What is your gut telling you is going to happen? You've, you're in contention for not one, but two different categories. What did you really think in your heart of hearts was gonna happen? Uh, on the morning of the Oscar announcement <laughs> nominations. <laughs> I don't know what was gonna happen, honestly. I mean, anything can happen. So I didn't even watch, you know, I, I, I tried to sleep <laughs> completely through the whole thing and my channel wasn't on any of the channels that was announcing anything. <laughs> so um, of course about 5.30, because I was on the West Coast, my, my phone started ringing. Well, my, my text went off and it was my girlfriend. She was on a plane and she saw it first and she was like, oh my God. And I was like, oh my God. And then my publicist called and she's like, oh my God. And I was like, ah, oh my God. <laughs> and my sister's in the house. So I ran you know, down the hall to my sister and I was screaming, Latanya, you know, I just got nominated for two Oscars, but I didn't know what was gonna happen. So I, I didn't wanna see it. I just was ready to accept whatever, whatever it was. I, that's, that's how I felt about it. You're the first person ever to be nominated for acting and songwriting for the same movie in the same year. Wow. I mean, I, listen, things like this just don't happen. I mean, I work really hard. I'm, I'm you know, I'm just not, not that I just started acting, but <laughs> this is like, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, for the song, it's like, wow, okay, this is great. Thank you. This, this, this is something that may have come. But as an actress, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't see this coming. I was so grateful. I mean, I mean, the grace of God is just, everything because this is all the grace of God right here. I can't even give it to anybody else. <laughs> I look at you, I think New York, you and I both grew up in the same county, Westchester County in, in New really? York, yep. But yet, Florence Jackson is from the South, but that's not entirely new to you, right? You spent some time in your younger years in the South, did you not? Yeah, well, my mom is Southern, my father is, both my parents are from the South, and, um, my mom moved to New York when my, little, my, when my older sister was a baby. They, both my parents moved to New York. And my mom had me in the Bronx, but my mom used to send us down south in the summer to see my grandparents. And my grandmother was this woman named Florence. My aunts was this woman named Florence. And they all had farms and um, they all had farms and, and cows and chickens and pigs. and. Whatever we ate, we actually saw them kill. So I seen a chicken kill before, so I knew, you know, that came, you know, that came back to me. And I just, I just knew this woman. She was very like silent. She didn't say much, but she was super powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've spoken before about how you were going through a rough time in your life when you started this film. How would you say playing Florence healed you, if it did? Well, I mean, it gave me a place to give all that heaviness to. This woman was, Florence was heavy because you know, they were coming through hard times and they were still looked at as slaves and niggers, you know, because the Ku Klux Klan did not get the memo that they were free. So I gave, <laughs> so, so I gave Florence all the heaviness that I felt trapped in, you know, side of the situation that I was in and, and not knowing what was going on, but felt that something was really, really wrong. So I just gave it all. I, I didn't have anything to lose. I just let Florence have every single pain, every confusion, every whatever it was, I just gave it to Florence. As you mentioned, you have many acting credits before, including you've worked with a female director before, Casey Lemons, and your director, Dee Reese, on, on this film. Uh, a great female director. What's different here is that your DP, your cinematographer, was a woman here, Rachel Morrison, now the first woman ever nominated for yeah. cinematography. <laughs> Did that change this experience, having a woman in that pivotal role as the DP? Did you feel the difference as you were making this film? Automatically because I, I, I didn't see Rachel a lot, but when I finally saw her, like maybe on the third or fourth day, the woman on, you know, the woman down on the camera, <laughs> it was like, wow, 
And then I just kept seeing a bunch of other women, like every, you know, every day, it was a lot of women on, on set. And it was beautiful, because D, I mean, D just made the experience amazing. This woman is an amazing human being. And Rachel is amazing, and it was just, to see so many women, it, yeah, it definitely made me feel a little more comfortable, for sure. What's your confidence level now as an actor? Because I get the sense that it wasn't at its highest maybe when you started this. Now that you're an Oscar nominee, has it changed it or you've gone through this experience? Well, <laughs> it's not about even um, now that I'm an Oscar nominee. It was actually on the set when we were shooting. Dee helped me to uh, have more confidence because she was shooting so fast. She, she had so much confidence in me, it made me be like, oh, okay, so I, I really know what I'm doing. Right. And she kept saying, I got it, I got it, go to lunch, I got it, I got it. So <laughs> that helped me, and that now on top of the Oscar nomination, it's like, wow, yeah, okay, don't doubt yourself anymore, Mary. You, you know what you're doing, you know. <clears throat> Thank you. One last thing. So the Oscar ceremony is now about a month away. Would you like to sing Mighty River on the Oscar telecast? I am going to sing Mighty River. Oh! <laughs> I mean, <whew. laughs> yes, I mean, this is beautiful. This is like a dream. I, I feel like somebody just need to just keep pinching me. <laughs> It's incredible. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Well, you're going to come back later for a group interview with everybody. But for yes. now, ladies and gentlemen, Mary J. Blige. Thank you.